Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to set a file, folder or a drive on Windows 8. At first, right click on a network icon and click on open network and sharing center. Here click on change advanced sharing center. And make sure that under private tab, you click on turn on network discovery and turn on file and print share. And if you have a home group, you can check mark allow windows to manage home group connections if you don't have one you can click on use user accounts and passwords to connect to other computers and uh, under the guest or public this is an optional one if you want your guest or public to access your shared files on your network you can check mark this too and uh, this is common properties uh, I recommend checking more turn on sharing so anyone with access can read and write files in public folders. If you want public folders to be accessed, and I recommend clicking on turn on password protector sharing. But for tutorial purpose, I am clicking on turn off password protector sharing. Finally, click on save changes. Now I am going to create a new folder here and I am going to name it share. Right click on the folder which you want to share and click on properties. Under the sharing tab, click on advanced sharing. Share this folder and you can set up appropriate permissions for different uses for the share. Click on ok, apply, ok and then close. And if you want to share a drive, in my case I want to share this volume G. So I am going to right click on it, click on properties and here under the sharing tab, click on advanced sharing. Share this folder, apply and then ok. Now you have not yet shared this drive. But this drive may appear on your network but when you double click on it, it will show an error. To fix that, click on security tab and click on edit. Here click on add, advanced, find now. Now choose the users in which you want them to access your shared file. If you have problems in it, just click everyone and OK. Now this won't give you any network configuration problems or permission problems. Finally click OK. Set permissions for the users. Click OK and close. Now to show you that this works, I am on my network computer and here I am going to click on my network and wait for the computer name to appear here. When your computer name has appeared, double click on it. Do note that if you have a password protected sharing, it may ask you for a username and password. As you can see here, the user folders, the share folders which I have shared earlier is here and the G drive is also here. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.